Hi folks and welcome to another um, video from Intensive Driving Courses NI. Uh, this is a YouTube channel set up to uh, offer advice and uh, additional help to work with your current instruction that you're getting from either an instructor or uh, your family, friend or relative. Uh, this short video is going to give a bit of information, hopefully a few helpful hints and tips about what's known as independent driving. Now this was introduced uh, approximately about 10 years ago on to the driving test and really it is to see how you drive by yourself. Um, it's not a route finding exercise in any shape or form and you can ask for help and uh, the information to be repeated to you. So at some part of the test um, your examiner will pull you in and uh, say that we're going to do a bit of independent driving and there's generally three possibilities. Uh, in no particular order, the first possibility is that you'll be asked to follow the road signs to a destination. Now that could be a town, that could be town centre, it could be leisure centre, etc, etc. Uh, the signposts will be well uh, visible. So for instance, if you were asked to follow to the town centre, you may find that the first traffic lights, you see town centre to the left. When you travel to the next traffic lights, if you don't see town centre mentioned again, generally you're following the road ahead. Uh, it lasts approximately five minutes. And as I say, if you do come off route, there is no big panic. But really what you're trying to avoid doing is panicking and stopping in the middle of junctions or turning in too quick to junctions or cutting across traffic uh, when you should have stopped and checked for a gap. A uh, second possibility is uh, having a series of junctions uh, relayed to you at once. So you may be shown a diagram, which may be just basic junctions or include roundabouts or traffic lights. There'll be various symbols actually on the uh, card that the examiner will show you. So they'll probably say something like, we're sitting here. What I'd like you to do is take the next road on the right and then take the next two left turns and he or she will then go through that um, sort of running sort of on their uh, diagram. They'll get you to relay it back to them just to make sure that you've heard it correctly and if there's any questions. If you do come off route again on that or forget if you're going left or right turn, just ask. All right. And uh, really it's just to see, can you drive fairly well unaided for about five minutes, but still keeping the system up of checking your mirrors, indicating, picking their correct lane, etc. Uh, third possibility is a mixture of both. So it could be, I would like you to take the next two right turns and then just continue following the signs to Cumber, Port of Ferry, etc, etc. And uh, when the independent driving's over, uh, your examiner will say, I'm now going to be giving you turn by turn instructions. So let's say you come up and one of your um, junctions is a roundabout and you were supposed to take the first exit off to the left. You realise too late. Um, do not then swerve in to try and take it or swerve across traffic if it was a right turn. Continue to the safest exit that you're positioning in and also that you're showing other traffic. Because really when you're out about driving from day one of your uh, sort of solo driving, hour plate, etc. At some point you will get lost, but you can't put other drivers or yourself at risk. All right, so as I say, if you get lost, it's not the end of the world. Please ask again. So independent driving will be on every driving test. It could be in the first five minutes, could be the middle of the test, could be the last five minutes. But make sure, as I say, you're happy with the understanding of what you're being asked to do before you head off. So hopefully folks, you find that a bit of information uh, useful. Uh, there's over 40 videos now on our YouTube channel. Please work down through them. Um, watch them as many times as you need. And as I say, use them as an additional help to the instruction that you're getting from friend or family or an instructor. Uh, other videos will follow. Um, so please like and subscribe and hit the bell and that will give you sort of notification warning, etc. when stuff comes up. So hopefully your training's going well, you're enjoying uh, the new experience of being out driving, you're now feeling a lot more comfortable, and as I say, join us again soon for other videos on helpful advice from Intensive Driving Courses NI.